So, what advice would you give to anybody looking to purchase any sort of technology in today's market? Uh, well, I tell you what, can, can I be frank with you? <laughs> Thank you. That was nice. Appreciate that. I would just come here, just work with us. No, you find something that's going to work best for your company. You know, what are your needs? How many folks are going to be there? What are you looking to accomplish? Because obviously, all the solutions are good, right? But it's finding that one that really fits your needs. So, do you want something where you have everything under one? You want something where you get to cherry pick what's best for you. But the idea is to always try and find something that's a good fit for your needs, your company. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Uh, I would look at three, three main things. Have a really sit down, understand where your challenges are, what you want to achieve, align it to your business objectives. Because without it, there's a lot of projects that just won't get off the ground because it won't have the buy-in from the business. And thirdly, think about not just what you need from a technology perspective, but what you want from the supplier who you're looking to partner with. Amazing. They're the top three things I would choose. Um, I would definitely say uh, come in uh, with a, a clear focus about what you're looking for. Uh, have a plan around, uh, I guess, a strategy. Um, there's many good uh, providers out there that can sort of help and assist, like RecTech. Um, and then also look for a company's invest in a sort of a company that's going to help you guys grow uh, AI um, things that are going to streamline the process uh, is what I would say I think you've got to understand what you're trying to solve like what event has happened to make you actually feel like we need this piece of technology are you trying to hit a new target is something taking too long like understand what you're trying to do and then when you speak to the salesperson you go right we're trying to solve this how can you help me? And that way you're really looking at solutions rather than just features and functionality. One piece of advice I can give is do not sign up to a long contract. Don't sign up to any contracts. The power in tech now is really with the customer and not the supplier. There's a huge amount of choice. There's loads of options. Don't sign up for long contracts. Don't have set up fees. Don't have massive contracts with exit fees on there. Make it work for you, make them show you how good it is and why you should be their customer. Take the control and don't sign up to a long contract. I'd say probably one of the most important things is planning, like making sure you know you've got timescales on mind, you can't just go in and expect someone to implement a system kind of, you know, within two weeks, especially if it's a big, you know, client or branches, more users. Um, I'd say get more people in the business involved, people that are going to be using the system. The amount of time I'll speak to decision makers, but then they all get implemented and people will whinge about it doesn't do this, it doesn't do that, but they've not asked those questions on the demo, so things will get missed. I'd say they're probably the most important things, definitely. Know what you want it to achieve. You know, I think there's a lot of people who get get drawn by shiny things. Ooh, this tech sounds good, this tech sounds good. But they don't know why they're buying it. They don't know how it works together. They don't know, you know, at the end of the day, the CRM is still the foundation of, of, the, of the house or, or the Burj Khalifa that, that you're trying to build. So know how all the bricks, the, the different bricks work together and know the blueprint of the house you want to be building before you start. So anyone who's looking at sort of rec tech today, I would say the first port of call is just look at your data. Is your data ready for this sort of better tech? So if we think about sort of the last sort of 12 to 24 months, we've seen this sort of like massive adoption and sort of um, sort of like better recruitment tech but they're sort of slightly ahead of themselves in the sense that they still have these big old databases that are just so dirty and like unengaged and messy that to really get impact from all this tech, then you first need to look at the data, make sure it's clean, make sure it's engaged and make sure it's organized in a way which lets it speak to these tools and so you can get the right impact that you're looking for. This market is strange, it's changing at the moment. Uh, the dynamics are changing all the time. So if I was uh, sitting in the kind of shoes of a client, I'd be trying to think how do I future proof my decision for five years' time? Because going out and going to market and talking to five or six different software providers takes a lot of time. You don't want to be doing it every two or three years. So, as best you can, I would say try and put yourself in your shoes in five years' time 